goodness is it hot out today. Way too hot. Is anyone there? Is anyone watching? It's a good start. Let's start with that. Can't tell if anyone is. No one's typing anything. Hey, gaming's here. I'm not even going to say whatever the name that is. Because uh, it's clearly not the case. Hello folks, welcome, welcome. Um, so, one of the things I always get very triggered by on most of my videos, especially my Mong Moment videos, is this stuff. Face cam. Now, uh, this face cam was uh, kindly donated to me by uh, a good friend of mine who works at uh, British Army Training Unit Suffield, which is about a couple of hours away, a few hours away from where I live. And I got about 20 of them and I used them for the cadets. And they loved it. They absolutely loved it. I can't understand why kids love putting stuff, smearing stuff all over their faces, but they do. Um, but this stuff is not fun to put on and off. I'm not going to lie, it is a nightmare to put on and off. Um, so, <laughs> we're going to put it on because I can't complain about people putting bad cam on and then not explaining how it should be put on correctly myself. That's just bad drills. So I thought I'll at least explain a little bit as to how I put cam on, how I used to put cam on with this stuff. Now what it says here, um, it's non-irritant, <laughs> non-irritant, um, and it's for uh, external use only. Cringe. External use only? Like it's face paint. What are you going to do with it internally? You're going to eat this stuff. Um, I didn't see any of my cadets eat it anyway. And this is still good to July 2018, so I'm covered. Um, because I know if you try and use this stuff when... Uh, game in Soviet, what are you... No, no, what are you talking about? I'm not shoving it anywhere. Gross bastard, you. Um, it's got three colours. Now, this colour's a little funky from what I'm normally used to. I'm normally used to a lighter colour. I'll show you the colour in a second here. Um, but its ingredients are mixed vegetable oil, silica, polysorbate, and methaparaben. All sounds like really nice stuff to be smearing all over your body there. Uh, so, yeah, interesting. Uh, it's manufactured by beautiful Great Britain. There you go. So, um, guys, what I am going to do is I'm going to get probably like 10 more of these from a good friend of mine at Suffield. And uh, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for them. So I'm going to be doing a micro competition for them so you guys can actually have um, your own little cam pad for if you do airsofting or you just want to be a loser like me in your backyard and put some cam cream on. You're more than welcome to. So I will be getting some more. So stay tuned. I'll get some more for you guys. So let's show you uh, the actual color of it then. So there we go. There we are. We've got sort of a darkish brown, a black, and a green. And I'm not going to say it is pleasant to put on. This is gnarly stuff to put on. It is not fun. It's gross to put on. Um, I always wanted to become a loser in the backyard. Come join the party. Oh, baby wipes for shaving foam. Hey, buddy, I'm well ahead of you there. I got baby baby wipes coming out the yin yang ready for this shit. I've even got a big pile of them ready because I know this is going to get gross really, really quickly. Um, <laughs> I've already mentioned to Mrs. Matimus to not come outside during this experience because it's not going to be a good time. And I've already taken off the old jewellery and stuff so I don't have to worry about uh, getting that all smeared up. And great, great suggestion by me to really sit on a nice white colourful couch here on the outside which is going to be really interesting. On a side note, I did bring my webbing out also so we can go over what's exactly inside of my webbing uh, that I used to have. This is actually what was issued to me and I was lucky enough to have a storeman who was very nice to me and allowed me to keep my stuff and I brought it home with me once I left the army so uh, I hope you hate that shirt. I love this shirt. This was given to me by the LAD at, Royal, at the Royal Tank Regiment, the Light Aid Detachment with the Remy. So. I actually really like this shirt, and if you look at the back, I don't know if you can see it. You see that? Oh, oh. Channels are too firing there, so yeah, I actually really like this shirt. So without further ado, guys, without further ado, I guess I should just go ahead and, and, and put this stuff on, really, shouldn't I? Um, speaking of webbing, how much ammo can the PLC hold? We'll talk about that later. Uh, right now, we're going to focus on... Oh, someone's, someone's showed up at the back. Someone's at the back. Anyway, so... Um, what was I going to say? I've lost track of thought. Um, guys, I would really appreciate if you could uh, leave a like after watching this video, because, obviously, this is going to be 
disgusting to put on. I have no interest in putting this stuff on at all right now. You better not fuck up after the monk series. <laughs> yeah, if I don't put this stuff on correctly, I'm going to look like a bit of a fool, really, aren't I? So it's going to kind of suck if I, if I do. But I'm going to try my best. I've got a mirror, so I should be able to. Are you like that? Pink iPad cover there. Are you going to show how to get it off? Yes, which is the hardest part. Putting it on is not the hard part. Taking it off is. How thick does it come off? Um, thick with a, two C's. That's how thick. Um, oh, thank you. I didn't even know how to say that word. Teach me to get right when I go sexy. <laughs> My goodness. You have the avatar from Game of Thrones. What's it called? The Hanging Man Clan or whatever it's called. The British Army just put on their Facebook that they are making a rainbow cam cream in honor of... Shut up. You'd better be kidding. I want a link of that. If you have a link, send it to me. Because that is ridiculous. Um, why couldn't it be this sunny when I was at Connect Camp? I don't know. Okay. Here we go. So... Here's how you should do it. This is how you should cam. Okay, so you normally start with a base layer. It's obviously not going to be black. Don't even say it. Okay, it's not going to be a black base coat. It's normally a very light brown, very light brown base coat to start. So here we go. It's going to get stuck in here. So, oh, it's like goop. It's turned in the, in the heat. It's turned into goop. Like literally, look at that. It's not supposed to shift like that. <laughs> it's going to be gnarly. <laughs> Okay, so, very light layer. Now, in fact, even then, I put way too much on. Okay, there we go. So, very light layer. This is going to suck. Okay, here we go. We're just getting involved. We're just getting into this. We're just doing it. Okay, if you notice, I'm only putting an extremely light layer on for now. Very light. Now, what people tend to forget are these areas, these areas, and all in your eye sockets. You've got to go, if you're going to put this stuff on, you've got to do it properly. You've got to, you got to just get in there, right? you just got to do it properly. You're not messing around here. So remember, guys, this is just the base layer. And it's hard to see even with the iPad screen here. Now, a lot of people will say, don't cam up your forehead because your helmet will get gross and yucky and it will just drip down. Shut up. Okay, as soon as you get into a firing position, that helmet is just going to come up, it's exposed white, okay, your helmet's going to get gross no matter what. Anyway, just put the damn stuff on your head and stop whinging like a girl. Okay, now, another thing, always put cam on your ears. Your ears are just exactly exposed as anything else. If you know the principles of camouflage and concealment, shape, shine, silhouette, shadow, uh, spacing, uh, sound, all that good stuff, okay? The exact same thing applies for your ears. The whole point that we put cam on in the first place, okay, is to prevent oils from... Ugh, this is gnarly stuff. It's to prevent the oils in your face shining from a distance. When you actually have natural oil on your face, some more than others, it can be seen from a distance, especially um, during a really hot day because you sweat more, okay? And this stuff is actually to break up that shine. It's one of the principles of cam is shape, shine, silhouette. Shine is the primary focus of what we're trying to stop here. So this base layer is trying to prevent, for the most part, the shine aspect. So as you can see, I've got a really bare minimal, get lots in those eye sockets. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you, okay? It's, a, it's plus 36 today, okay? And you're making me put cam on. Okay, don't say I don't, don't say I don't, you know, practice what I preach, okay, if I'm going to make fun of people on my Hmong videos, which please, if you haven't seen before, go check them out, um, don't say I don't try and cover my own ass, okay, so again, see this patch here, everybody forgets it, yes, you may lose a bit of cam now and then, from doing what you do, whether it be running around and sweating and stuff, or crying, because a lot of, you know, I mean, a lot of units out there have a lot of very weak people that like to cry during exercises, so a lot of the tears tend to come down here, but uh, really, no, no, we're, we're tough nuts. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so ears, focus on the ears, and again, really get in there. Get in there. Get in all the nooks and crannies, guys and girls. Okay, get ill in the ear. I can't believe I'm going to spend the next three hours of my day cleaning all this off my face, but that's okay. Okay, getting it all in there. Um, is, okay, so my neck is the next part. Again, one of the most important parts 
of doing your cam in this kind of environment when you're, you know, if you're not wearing a heavy body armor or something like that, as soon as you lay down, you're exposing all this weight, okay, or whatever skin color you are. So again, get that base layer on, take away that shine. Hard to see in this weather. Still got more on the forehead, probably do a little bit more. Hope you guys are enjoying this, because if you're not, I'm going to probably kill myself. Okay, more on the neck. Okay, now I'm not going to go too far down, because I'm not going to take the piss out of it, because at the end of the day, I've got my shirt, I don't want to completely ruin it, but you would technically go all the way down to where your collar line is, and probably about half inch below it, okay? Because when you move around in your gear, look at that, look at the transition, okay, from the, from the cam to not cam, okay? So just even a little breakaway like that, can be seen from a long way away. Let's have a little read of what we've got going on so far. We're not enjoying this. Well, I'm sorry you're not enjoying it. You can uh, quite easily click on the button and get the fuck out of here if you don't like it. Pray for Matsmus. Yeah, pray for me. Pray for me. Dear God, pray for me. Okay, so we've still got a bit more base layer to put on my neck. Let's check my eye sockets here. Check my forehead. Okay, so eyelids is another big one. Okay, so close your eyelids. Make sure all your eyelids are done. Okay, because again, if you're aiming through the sight, Okay, normally a lot of people squint like this, like Popeye, okay. But if you're looking through a sight naturally, you just close one eye, okay. It's, it's, it's basically, you're instantly making a white patch due to the skin that's not being camped. So do your eyelids too, the inside of your ears, everywhere. Okay, so we've got a pretty good base layer going on here, so I'm going to wipe off what I am not using. Good God, this stuff is gnarly. Look at, look at this, look at this. It just doesn't want to come off. Oh, my neighbours are probably thinking, who is this weirdo in his backyard camouflaging his face? Talking to himself on an iPad. Okay, so we got we got the base layer done. That's one of the most important parts, base layer. Now, I'm not going to do my hands, because I'm just not doing my hands. I'm not going that far. But normally, what you do again, you do a base layer all between your hands, all between the webs of your hands. Okay, a lot of people, they don't do the webs, okay, or the, the fingertips, the side of your fingers. Again, it's when you're like this holding a rifle, yes, that's great. But as soon as you start opening again, all these exposed bits of flesh here start turning white. So you really, if you're going to cam up, just do it properly. Do it all of it, okay? There's no point going half fast. If you're going to stick stuff... I look like a mom. Thank you, Nathan. That's very nice of you. If you're going to put this stuff on, then put it on properly, right? Just cover it up. I mean, there's no point putting cam on. You're just going to look like an absolute idiot. Okay, so... Next part is breaking up the shape. Okay, so we've done the shine majority of it anyway. I haven't gone too hardcore. I could probably have gone a little bit darker, but it's not a big deal. Next time, uh, I probably would have used a more of a green and brown mix, maybe a little bit, to kind of break up the shine. The next thing, we need to break up the shape. So my face is naturally shaped like a face, although a bit of a mong face, it's still a face. At this point, okay, and this is all subjective to what people want to do. What a lot of people try and do is they put big old smudges of this stuff and make it all look like Commando, like Arnold Schwarzenegger Commando, and it just looks ridiculous. That's not what nature looks like. Nature doesn't look like solid blocks of black, green, and, and brown. It doesn't work like that, especially when you're in the brush and in the you know in a training exercise or hopefully not a war environment or training environment. It's just not how it works. Um, so. Ideally, you want to be breaking up naturally, just like the bush behind me, okay? You notice it's all broken up, different shapes, different patterns, blacks, greens, kind of textures in the background. The fence wouldn't be there because it's not natural, but you can see where I'm going with this. So what I tend to do is get three fingers, um, and now the shape of this stuff is, is kind of messed up a little bit because it's been used so much by the cadets. They've just got like this, instead of taking like normal strokes, but they went to town on it. But uh, obviously get three fingers, okay? And just and look at look at the shift of it. Look at that. It's not supposed to do that. See how it's shifting? It's not, it's not supposed to look at that. Ah! Too much. Way too much. Okay, and this is one of the things I was trying to teach the cadets when I was uh, going through it with them. Is like, you don't need, you don't need that much. You really don't need that much to, to put on. Let's have a read of the comments. You forgot to cam up your teeth. Yeah, you can cam that up. That's what you can. I'm not camming up no teeth. Keep your mouth closed. Clearly doesn't understand the idea of trying to make the image shadow and depth. Would you spit on it to help? <laughs> I guess I could. Okay, so let's try that again. Just a little dibby dab dab. There we go. Okay, so between the three fingers. Now again, I'm going to split this up into twos. So put across both fingers. Might need a little bit more green. Sacrifice a little bit of the green there. This is gnarly. This cam is like hating this heat. I've never had cam do this to me before. Okay, so 
Notice I've got green, sorry, brown, black, green, green, black, brown. Now all I'm going to do is crisscross. There's no simple method to this. There is no perfect method to make your cam correct. It's all about breaking up and making it look as unnatural as possible. Nature doesn't go in perfect straight lines like you see on Commando with those big beautiful green and black perfectly matched up together lines. That's not how it works. So here we go. So again, just crossing across the face and running across every crease of, of your face. So if you notice I've got little gaps there that need to connect. And my eye there, you don't want blotches like that. Okay. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. Okay, so again, a bit more green. I need some more green on there. And again, just play with it. Okay, it's, it's, there's no art to it. There's no rhyme or reason. But at the end of the day, you need to break up that pattern, that shape. Okay, again, see how I've got a big blotch there? That's not good. So I need to cross that over. There we go. Notice how the edge of my lips here, like that. Don't be afraid to. Get it across the lips. The lips are still part of something that needs coming. And the tips of the corner of your lips like that. Need doing. Yeah, a bit of lipstick. Mm. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. I've just found an ant that's carrying something. Oh, come back. Oh. I guess even he, he doesn't want to get cammed up. So if you notice my forehead. Again, that doesn't look very sort of broken up a little bit there, so we'll go a little bit more on the side. Let's see what else we got here. It's hard to see in this light, I'm not gonna lie. So you see my nostrils? You can get the nostrils there. Underside. Now, this part here is a big one. This part here is always the part that when you finish coming up, um, gets completely lost of cam. You've gotta make sure this area particularly, especially when you're running and sweating a lot, um, or if you get sick, this will wash off the first. First and foremost, this will go all this area, especially right here. So you've got to make sure you come up, re, re come up whenever you can possible. Again, if you're going to come up, just do it properly. Make sure you maintain that cam. There's no point putting it on if you're not going to maintain it. So now we're going on to my neck. Chin's not broken up enough there. See how they've got blotches like that? We don't want that. Again, another blotch. That's the black doing that. We need more green. Too much green. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have to do that. What I tend to do is I freshen up every time. I try and get a fresh set of hands to, to fix up the patches that need doing. Like, for instance, this right side now is way too dark. So I'm going to patch that off a little bit. Too much going on there. He's not a mong because he didn't kill his friend. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Most of my videos involve someone getting killed, really, isn't it? Or just about getting killed. MTP or DPM? MTP. I, uh, I actually really liked DPM back in the day, obviously, because that's what I served with. But uh, now that DPM's involved, I actually like DPM a lot more. Joining AFC Harrogate in September, so hype. I'm not finished yet, yet guys. I'm not finished. I'm still working on it. I'm just answering some questions and chatting to you guys for a bit. What cadet group matter? I was in the Durham Light Infantry when I was in the UK. I was a cadet. I got to the rank of corporal. I was in the Durham Light Infantry. I had a great time. I am not taking off my shirt. Uh, Desert DPM. Yeah, Desert DPM was good. Yeah, I like both DPM, to be honest. Why is there a floating RTR t-shirt? This was given to, me, given to me by the LAD of 2RTR whilst I was in Fallingbostel, Germany. It's their, it was just their LED regimental shirt. It was given to me. I was attached to them for a little while there. Uh, a, no cam cream on your forehead, Matt Ah, Connor, see, you're one of those people that I go, eh, 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 eh. you put cam cream on your forehead. I don't want to listen to you saying, well, because your helmet or your headdress is going to touch it. It doesn't matter. It's going to get mucky and gross anyway. Okay, just put it on. Because when you get down into a firing position, sometimes if the sight is touching that helmet, it's going to break it up a little bit. You're going to expose that white. So I'm sorry, but you do need to cam your forehead up. Like Rambo, that part made me laugh. Can you please give me some advice? I'm joining the Royal Marines. Good luck to you. That's all I'm going to say. Work hard, train hard. Make sure you put lots and lots of effort into your PT. Tattoos, is that a decent camo source? Yeah, I've got enough tattoos to camo my arm at least. 
Uh, thanks for the video. I'm taking notes. <laughs> I'm not done yet, by the way, guys. I'm not finished. I'm just having a chat with you guys for a little bit. Bring umbrella when Matimus is streaming. He is spitting so much. What? What? I'm not spitting. I'm spitting out stuff that was in my mouth because I was going mm, put my lipstick on. When you sweat, it'll go into your eyes, and that's also why you have the scrim net go below. It never got in my eyes. It never bugged me. I, I never, ever, ever had that issue. And I always cammed up my head. Never had the issue, to be honest. But uh, see you quickle. Have a good day at work, bud. Never had that issue. But that, if that's what you want to do, this isn't... What I'm saying isn't standard. It isn't granite. It isn't you should do this. This is just how I do it. And how technically the camouflage itself should really be done. What's the time in Canada? Uh, it's 2.24 in the afternoon right now. AK or AR? Uh, A AR. Because I like the AR platform. Even though I love the LA5A2, I do really like... The, uh, the AR. I'm not saying I don't like the AK too, because I've shot that before. What if there is rain in action? If there is, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, it sounds like a fucking Challenger 2 is going by. Nope, it's just a moving truck. I'll be joining the military at 18 as a combat medic engineer. Any advice? Tra keep training hard, do lots of fitness, work on your mathematics if you're going to be an engineer. Um, Org or L85? I've never shot the Org, I do like it, but they're both ballpups, so I'm not really going to pick one. Yeah, medical engineer, I was a little concerned there what you meant by medical engineer, I just thought you meant engineer. But if you're going into the medical world, then good luck to you. Matt, did you ever work with one rifle that was my old battalion? Unfortunately, I did not. Do video on your webbing and the webbing. I'm going to do that in a second. This is here. Okay, we'll do that a little later on. Is the Asian face paint? Is it better to join up at 16 or 18? Go check out my video uh, joining at 16 if you wish to ask, answer that question. What if combat action there is rain? or If it, there's rain, this stuff is waterproof. It doesn't matter if there's rain. But that's why I say you have to keep on top of your cam camouflage discipline is continue to re-put it on. Do you prefer DPM or MTP? Like I already said, I like MTP. I used to serve in DPM, but I like MTP. 95 pattern is my favorite. Challenger 3 or Leopard 3? No such things. How's joining the Canadian Army going? Still waiting, George. I'm still waiting to this day to uh, get into the Canadian Armed Forces. I'm still waiting. Is digging foxholes fun? It is not fun, especially in heat like this, plus 36 degrees heat. It's water resistant. Yeah, I guess it's not waterproof. It's water resistant. What exactly did you do in service? I was a tank mechanic. Uh, I was uh, forward repair, so I'd go out with the tanks, warriors, CVRTs, Challenger 2s, fix them up. Wherever they patrol, I'd patrol with them with my vehicle, my tank, and I'd uh, crane out the vehicle engines and repair the tracks and repair the everything. So anything repair wise I'd be there with them fixing them. Is living in a crawl hole, crawl hole fun? Not really, no it's not. Have you ever gotten near death? Uh, probably not a question you should ask but yes I have. Ever trained in a jungle environment? No but I would have loved to have gone to Belize or places like that with the British Army. It would have been epic. What weapon system do they use in Canada? They use the C7A2 which is a AR-15 variant 20 inch barrel. Very nice rifle. Shot it before, it's nice. Mong confirmed near-death experience. What degree of combat medical gear does the usual infantry soldier carry? What is their level of medical training? Normal combat infantry gear would technically be a very small first aid kit, a first field dressing, and a tourniquet. Maybe two first field dressings, maybe two tourniquets, depending on the environment. Officers are lucky because they don't have to dig foxholes. Actually, that's wrong. They do dig their own foxholes. <laughs> I'm British, my dad is American. He was a sergeant in Delta Force. Wow, good for him. Um... Oof! Hello, Mark. Oof! Guys, for some reason, I don't know why I have an obsession right now with saying oof from Roblox. And this is because the guys in the Legion, we were playing some games recently, and for some reason, I don't know why, I'm hooked on oof. And, and oof! Like, there's songs that have oof in, and I've been playing oof a lot recently because of what... It's mainly Mark. He's in this chat right now. OG Mark plays. He's part of the Legion, along with many other people here. Do Roblox Cam Cream, oh my god, that would be hilarious. Okay, let's finish this off then, so before we can continue talking, so let's get back to what I was doing. So we're going to put some more green on my forehead here. This is where it starts getting difficult, because I've got to be smart and not put... See, the shadow of the sun on the screen and the iPad's making it really hard right now. I'm going to put a bit here. Smear that across. See, see how that, that's kind of a dark line? Mm, it's not good. I don't like that. I'm not happy with that. Let me just put more on my eyes too. Uh, army phrases that grind my gears. Fella. Fella grinds my gears. Back in the army it used to grind everybody's gears. Someone called you fella. It was always a 
old school stripey way of saying it's a derogatory comment to like a young trooper craftsman private. All right, fella. I'm not your fucking fella, bud. Okay. Bit of brown here. We need to focus more on green, Matt. There we go. A bit of green in there. A bit of green on this side, too. Okay. A bit more on the forehead here. And a bit more on this ear. This ear is definitely not good enough. I'm pretty happy with that. It's not perfect. It'll take me a little bit longer to to kind of perfect this, but I'm pretty confident with that. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Put a little bit more green across the top here. These patches here, right under the nose, they get you. There we go. I think I'm pretty happy with that. It's not perfect. It's hard to see in this sunlight against the, the iPhone, uh, the iPad screen. 9mm or 45 ACP. Um, I've never used 45 ACP, um, really. I've used I've used 9mm a lot, though, so I would say probably 9mm. I'm not into the whole stopping power argument. I'd rather have more rounds in the magazine than, than the whole stopping power thing. What is your favourite sidearm? And Breda 92mm, sorry, 92mm? A Breda 92 FS Hinox 9mm is my favourite handgun. I used to have one, but I had to sell it to get uh, my beautiful house that I live in now. Did you ever go to Kenya? No, I did not. I would have loved to have gone that really, really would have. Uh, how does it smell? It doesn't smell good. It does not smell good. It's really gnarly. CAD pad or DPM? Uh, CAD pad, just because I'm in the country now and I kind of like DPM. Uh, sorry, CAD pad. Me and my mate were poppy selling last year with cadets and ex REF regiment. I was sorry, it disappeared, guys. This, the chat's disappeared. Is England your city? England is my city. Damn straight it is. Where is Matt? He has vanished. I know. Where am I gone? See? Oh. Oh. Let's see if I can adjust the bit this a little bit so you can actually. Oh, sec here, guys. I'll try and make this a little bit more. There we go. I can kind of chill out a little bit more now. Are guns hard to shoot in Canada? No, they're not. We actually have a range down down the road there, and I tend to go to the range as much as possible. In fact, I'll probably do a video on it in the near future here. RAF have a section of FSSG. They are. CAD Pat is sweet. RAF Regiment. How to get it off, though? Baby wipes, my brother. Baby wipes. And I brought a whole pack, which are actually destined normally for a baby. My baby. My baby girl, but uh, we're just going to use it today to get this stuff off. Why is Challenger 2 engine blue? Okay. I'll leave that question to you, I'll answer it finally, but I want to see if anyone in the comments knows the answer to that, that question. I know. Yo, those knees are looking lovely. Oh, look at that, you like those knobbly, knobbly nibblers, eh? Look at that, eh? So we're going to go through my webbing in a bit here, boys and girls. We'll, uh, you should start digging out a foxhole pulling out your combat knife, bet your neighbours would freak out. They're probably freaking out talking to myself, even though I'm not. I am a Royal Marine Cadet. Any advice for promotions? Work hard. Don't be gobby. Be friendly. Look after your subordinates. And uh, get as many calls as you can. You need to vlog more often. I do need to vlog more often. It's just very difficult to. Foamy hand soap. Uh, would you prefer the Virtus body armor system? Never used it. I never used it. I never put it on. And armor is a very personal thing, so I can't comment on something I've never worn. Why did you move to Canada? That's a long story, which I'm not going to go over today. I can do another vlog another day. Biggest ever bollocking. Biggest ever bollocking. Good question. I think the biggest ever bollocking we had was for... Um, we accidentally pulled an uh, engine out of a out of a warrior without disconnecting one of the lines. Um, and we got in a lot of trouble for that. And the bollocking was basically put gas masks on and run around the harbour area about 15, 20 times. Yeah, it wasn't fun. With respirator canister on, so there's like barely any airflow into your mouth. It's gross. Uh, you should kill all the mongs in the world. No, we don't want to kill the mongs. They're fun to laugh at. Opinion on FK Bruno 7.7mm handgun. Never used it. Can't give an opinion on it. Hey, CFB Edmonton. Hey, Sean. How's it going, bud? Wish I was up there with you, pal. Do you play squad? I do play squad. Go check out my videos. I've got a lot of squad videos out there. I love playing squad. I haven't played it for a little while, though. Easy to find leaks on a coloured surface. Bingo, there you go, Charlie. That is exactly why the Challenger 2 and nearly all vehicle packs and engines in the British Army are blue, is so that if oil leaks, you can see it. Ooh. 
<laughs> Why does the Royal Tank Regiment have a shirt and a pick of England? I don't know. I didn't make it. Make sure you go diagonal on the one. You can use some yellow if you've got it. Dumbest questions you've asked as boot. Oh, there's a lot of, lot of questions coming here. Uh, funniest smoke grenade moment. <laughs> no comment, because I know exactly who's asking that question. Do you think it's fine to go out with people from cadets? Um, uh, I'm an adult, so no. <laughs> uh, do I ever play Rainbow Six? No, I don't. Hi, Matt Smith. What would be your favourite operation exercise? My favourite exercise is British Army Training Unit Suffield. Absolutely fantastic time. I had a gr I had many exercises in Suffield. They're five, six weeks long exercises. They were great. Had a lot of fun. I hated Poland. Poland was just awful. Uh, no, I don't play Rainbow Six Siege. I'm sorry, my graphics card can't handle it, and I cannot afford to get a new graphics card right now. I'm still currently saving up for it, so maybe in the future I'll be able to play it, but as of right now, no. Have you ever played Airsoft? No, I have not, but uh, I have sparked some interest in the future, in the, in the past, about potentially playing some, but it's not something I've really been thinking about. Did I ever train in Catry Garrison? Yes, many times. When I was in Cadets, we got to be fired the 105 light gun blanks. It was awesome. Good for you. That's awesome. Never heard of that before. Will you do a video on the Canadian LAVs? Yes, for sure I will be. It's one of those videos I want to set aside some really good time for and focus on it, because being it's my new country's uh, APC, I want to make sure I do it properly. Matt, take us to the range one day and show us all the arsenal. I can do that, for sure, but I don't think it would be a live stream, because I don't have the money to pay for the data that it's going to cost to do a live stream on my cell phone coverage, because Canada doesn't have unlimited data. In what machine did you serve in the Army? Warrior 512, 513, 510... Krav, Challenger Repair Armored Recovery Vehicle. Uh, did I do much work with the RAF? No, I did not. Apart from them dropping me off in Afghanistan and traveling me all over the world. Who is your arch enemy on YouTube? <laughs> I have no idea. Have you ever been to Sweden for exercises? No, but that would be cool. I'd love to go to Sweden. Have you seen HMS Queen Elizabeth? No, again, I haven't. I'm in Canada, so there's no way I'm going to be able to see HMS Queen Elizabeth unless she sails her ass over here. Are you allowed to use equipment of your own personal equipment in the army? Yes, you are. In fact, if you look at some of my videos in the past, you'll see some of the equipment I'm wearing is not issued. Uh, favorite military vehicle of all time? Favorite military vehicle? Warrior. Warrior armor fine vehicle. Sorry, this has served me well. It's protected me. It saved my life. Warrior. I love it. Yes, it needs an upgrade, but it's still my favorite, uh, favorite vehicle out there. I don't do politics. Nope. Sorry, guys. Will you do a video on the Israeli... Elton or name a PC? I might do, yeah. And yes, I will be doing a video on the CVRTs. Opinion about the RAF Reg? Uh, great bunch of guys. Uh, I don't honestly think they're required in the RAF. I think the Army has most things covered. That's just my opinion. Uh, but they do a great job. They secure the airfields, secure landing strips, secure LZs and drop-off points. A lot of people give them a hard time. I myself have in the past. Uh, but they do their job very, very well. So I really can't fault them too much for it. What's your favorite army or sergeants in the army? Uh, sorry, I didn't understand that question. I have a spare 1080 GTX graphic card. No, you don't, Quinn. Don't fucking lie to me. Uh, wheels versus tracked IFV. Now, that's a tough one, and I'll probably be doing a video on that in the future, and that's a good idea for a video. If you're on my Discord, please go put that right now in the Discord channel in the Ideas for Matsmith's video so I can remember it. But wheels versus track, that's a good idea for a video for sure. My father is still serving 30 years PPCLI. Wow, that's awesome, man. Very, very uh, impressive regiment there. I went to the Cowrie Museum there and some of the uh, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry history, and it was just, wow, it's an impressive history. I think a lot of Brits don't know enough about Canadian military history, and they should, and I felt very ashamed myself not knowing enough about regiments like that, so massive respect to PPCLI. Trains or tunnels? What? What? Trains or tunnels? Are you high? Your video looked good. Oh. Thanks, buddy. How are field guns in the Canadian Army towed? By rather large trucks. Uh, Blackwatch are famous. Yes, Blackwatch are famous, yeah. Why in cadets do they tell you not to cam your forehead? This is subjective. I'm not telling you to cam your forehead. I've never had the issue of the cam cream running into my eyes and blinding me. I've never had that issue. When I wear my helmet, it just gets on the inside of my helmet, and that's it. And I clean it when I get back to camp. I've never had the issue of it sweating down. What I know is that if you're going to cam up your face, if it sweats and gets in your eyes, wipe your eyes. Stop being a baby and put some more on. Because as soon as you get into a firing position and that helmet's either resting on a sight 
it potentially shifts up and you seal that exposed skin. So it's it's a no-brainer to me. Did you get a tattoo in Afghanistan? No, it's not Ninth Company. Okay, we don't tattoo in Afghanistan. If you know anything about tattoos, getting a tattoo in a hot environment is a stupid idea, so no. It's all gone quiet all of a sudden. How many people are watching this right now? Very bad connection. Oh, I'm getting very bad connection. Oh, I'm getting poor connection. Hopefully, can, how's the stream looking, guys? Is it looking good? Because to me, it's saying very bad connection right now. Back to the PLC. How many round magazines can a rig hold? My rig can hold 3, 6, 9, 12 mags. Do I get extra operator points if I tattoo my entire body with camo pattern? No, sorry. It's gone quiet. Someone tell me how many p Is the stream looking good? Is the stream looking good right now? Because if it's not, no. I'll have to sort that out. Because the, the stream quality, is it juddering or slowing down or anything like that? Guys, give me some input. Is the stream looking good or bad? I need my need to adjust. It's choppy, damn it. Hmm. Maybe if I move, no, I'm a bit blurry, floating shirt. Okay, well, hopefully we'll f be able to fix that somehow here. Um, not too sure how. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go on the grass. Let's go on the grass, come on. Let's go through the I'm going to take all this crap with me. Bear with me here, guys. I'll take my webbing with me, too. We'll see if we can get closer to the wireless router. Any better? Very bad connections. It's not good. Oh, it's not good. Okay, there we go. Now I can see a bit better. I apologize for the connection, guys. I really do. There's not much I can do about it right now, unfortunately. It's just the way my internet's being, I guess. Have I ever seen an airstrike? Yes, I have seen an airstrike before. Oh, well, now I can actually see the patches of cam that look crap. Do I want your GTX? Are you seriously offering me a G GTX 1080? Of course not. I can't take that from you. Um, if I join as an ammunition technician specialised in EOD and I still be considered a REMF, yes. You're always going to be a REMF if you're not infantry. That's that's just the way it is. Infantry will always call us REMFs, even though I worked alongside most of the infantry back in the day. What is that stuff on your face? This is camouflage cream. I've already gone over this. That's what this whole video is about. I will, I will do more Hmong videos, but please do not do that. Is it pesto? Yes, it is pesto. Yes, definitely pesto. What region do you live in Canada? Well, I live in Alberta. I'm joining the Paras, hopefully. Your avatar is a Royal Marine cat badge, buddy. And you join the Paras? I want to sort that out. What's your computer specs? My computer spec is an i7. Uh, 4770K, I have a GTX 770, which isn't mine, I'm borrowing it, um, and I have G-Skill 16GB RAM, uh, an SSD, which is really, really, really small, um, I have a Seagate something or other hard drive, and an Asus Formula V7, I think. Actually, Matt, I'll PM you about something I can offer you graphic-wise. No one's giving me graphics cards, okay? I appreciate the offer, but no one needs to be giving me graphics cards. 84 people. 84 people are here right now? How? Why are 84 people watching me being a loser? Like, this is crazy. SAS or SBS? I'm not picking between two Special Forces regiments. Can you do a video on Cadet Corporals who's Hmong who lost? I don't know what that said. Uh, you'd lick that pesto off my face. Very weird. Connection is all good now. It's going to come in and out, poor connection and good connection, because my wireless router is like in the basement and I'm like outside. So, if you had money, would you purchase your own vehicle? I would love to buy in Canada an M113. I would love it. I would just t find some land and tear it up. Have you shot the GPMG for a purpose? What do you mean for a purpose? Of course I have. I've shot it many times. Do you think tow 2 or vehicle mounted javelin is useful? Yes, I do. Put black under your eye to prevent reflection to the sun. 
I guess you could do that, but that's not a concern. Uh, will you ever make a video about your hardest moments in the army? Yes, I will. Do the Canadian cadets do much exercises? Yeah, they do. I mean, um, I look after my guys with the cadet with the exercises as much as possible, but it's all dependent on how much budget they have. Can I get on to webbing? Yes. Okay, we'll do some webbing. Ugh. Okay, so let's see if I can angle this a little better so you guys can see. FYI, I didn't call it GMPG, I called it GPMG, so I don't know whoever that was. Here we go. So this is my webbing. It was given to me at basic training in Harrogate back in the day. So when I was 16 years old, so this is old stuff. And I've kept it ever since issue day one. I talked to my storeman back in the day and he was like, I was like, can I hand this, do you want me to hand this back? He's like, no, you can keep it if you want. So I'm like, sure, I'll keep it. I'll just do some military training in the background. So I've kept it ever since. It has currently, I can line it all out for you. Ugh. Get back here. It currently has ammo, water, utility, 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 ammo. So we've got three, six, nine, twelve magazines in total with four pouches. Now each pouch has its own specified, I, I, everybody has their own preference to what they put in their webbing, but this one's specified to me. So on the far right hand side, so as I reach for my right hand side, which will be here because I'm right handed primarily and closest access is going to be my water. Obviously it goes in order of priority of what's most important. So for me, <laughs> this is set up for a civilian environment. So let's go through from the right. So this is, this is where I would reach with my right hand. Okay, so if I'm on the bullpup and I'd be doing a magazine change, I'd use my left hand. But from my right hand, this is where I'm wanting to be able to get access to my water primarily because water is very important. Um, but in a civilian environment, I've got a mag charger here, which I've just left on ever since basic two. Um, in a civilian environment, motherfucking bear spray. Okay, so bear spray is a big must in Canada, okay, especially being out in the wilderness, in the mountains and such. This stuff is very, very important. So, normally um, in an environment where you're in the military, if you weren't carrying extra magazines in here, um, you'd be carrying a smoke grenade or a um, Oh, hold on a sec, guys. I'm losing battery. I'm not sure why. Give me a sec here. Don't know why my battery's not charging. What was it? Are you guys still there? Sorry about that. I, uh, my battery was dying. So yes, uh, in Afghanistan... In Afghanistan? What am I talking about? Uh, in Canada, it's very important to have bear spray. So normally, in a military environment, if you didn't have your three magazines in here, you'd have a smoke grenade, you'd have a hand grenade of some sort. But because obviously I want to have something really quick and handy for my right hand, which is where I would use this, okay, to get the old bear from the nasty nozzle here, um, I would, uh, I know I just lost 40 people, rip, total rip. Um, can you guys still see me? Okay, good, I'm back. Um, so yeah, this is what I'd need, very, very important in, in Alberta, but obviously in a military environment, it would just be with spare ammunition, or a smoke grenade, a hand grenade. So we'll stick that back in there because we don't really need it right now unless I want to bear spray someone. Uh, in my next pouch, normally I put things that are kind of just day-to-day -day needs. So I've got uh, a flashlight here. I've got uh, what was a smoke grenade cap um, and just things for safety. You know, this is normally set up for when I take out the cadets, so glow sticks and stuff. For, uh, looking out for them, making sure they're not falling over and shit in the night. Uh, water bottle, Osprey water bottle, army issued, very very handy, big lid, I know a lot of people like those really thin tiny little hold lids, actually really... Sorry again guys, sorry again guys, it keeps cutting out, I think it's the internet, it's just giving me a really hard time right now. Uh, it keeps losing connections, probably because I'm so far away. Let's see if I can move again and get closer to the internet. Give me a second here. Give me two seconds, give me two seconds. Okay, we're back again. Hopefully we'll have a better connection now. Okay, so, um, yeah, so let's go back to my pouches. 
So yeah, that would be. Let's get this set a little higher. There we go. So yeah, that would be uh, my towel should just have bits and pieces in that are kind of important but not important. Water bottle and, and the mug in the bottom there, which really I don't really use. Uh, this one is what I tend to put in there is sort of uh, in cadets wise, it's not only command and control, so anything that's vital to doing my day to day. So I put my first aid kit in here, uh, waterproofed of course, so if any of the kids get hurt or myself, I can just quickly bandage myself up. I've got a my uh, basically bag that's got my uh, orders making kit, all that sort of stuff, you know, for quick battle orders, all that good stuff, map reading stuff in there, compass, all that good stuff. Uh, what else we got in here? Mine tape, another couple of silooms and stuff, uh, batteries, spare batteries for the flashlight, nothing fancy. Uh, this pouch, and it, like I said, this is going in order of priority of what I tend to use and what's most um, specific to what I'm doing at the time. So I'll always go from round the back to what's most important. So uh, most important, most important, and then least important coming around to this side. So as you can see, I'm going through in priority of what's most important to me and what I need quick access to. Uh, for the very back here, which would be literally right in line with my spine, is one of the most at least important areas that I really need. Uh, water being very important, ammunition being very important, hence around this side. Command and control being very important. I need to know if I need to get somewhere and give orders in a firefight or just admin, day-to-day -day administration and stuff. This one, anyone take a guess what's going to be in here? Let's see about the comments. Anyone guess what would be in this pouch? We've just done command and control. And take a guess what would be in this one. Food, there you go, that's exactly it. Food would be in this one because again, if I'm gonna be doing day-to-day -day stuff, I don't need to eat food constantly. I don't need quick access to it. So inside of here, I've got my Hexman, Hexman stove, which is great for just cooking uh, on the fly. And I got an extra one of these again from uh, British Army Training Union in Suffield. I've got many friends up there that give me extra kit that they don't need or require anymore. And I use this if I'm ever going out camping on my own or, or uh, with the cadets and stuff. We can set this up and actually set up a stove, uh, put my mess tins on top of it and cook some food, which is old school. I'm sure it's changed now. Everybody gets the little jet boils and all that other garbage that they buy nowadays. Two mess tins, one for cooking, one for washing or for other stuff that you may want to use them for. You can even purify water in there. Uh, as you can see, I've got MREs in there, packed in nice and light along with some matches. Go, we'll put that all away. So food, although important, really doesn't need to be accessed the most. So that's going to be in line with my spine there. So I don't, I don't really need that. Um, so we'll put that there. And then the list. This one is pretty much the most least important of all. Um, these are things that you know make your life a little better. Um, I've got uh, these twist ties, which are great for doing. Uh, zip ties are great for uh, you know attaching things to your equipment or to kit. I tend to keep them around for cadets that are struggling with stuff like equipment. I can just zip tie to my bag so that they don't have to carry it. Again, same detail for this. It's really handy to just strap it all together. I know I keep mentioning cadets. I'm not talking about being a cadet. I'm mentioning about instructing cadets. I instruct cadets, so this is the kind of stuff that I use on my day-to-day -to, -day to instruct them. Um, we've got like bungee rope, bungee cords, uh, string, all the other garbage that really isn't that very important, not important at all, to be honest. This goes into that pouch. Uh, and then obviously we come back to what's accessible to my left hand side, which is just identical to my right hand side. So inside here I'm going to have more ammunition mags. Uh, in this particular one I would have had gloves, because uh, gloves are quite important, especially in Canada when it's super cold. We've gone winter X's with cadets, super important to make sure you have warm hands. And I'm not too sure what's in this one. Uh, oh, this is just my knife. This is my knife in case I have to cut something open or, you know, bear attack and knife them in the face. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's my wedding. Um, I love it. I've always loved PLC wedding. I know a lot of people complain about it. They like chess rigs. I'm not a chess rig kind of guy. Um, never, I've never really liked chess rigs at all, to be honest. It's not my thing. Um, but a lot of people do. A lot of people like chess rigs. In a vehicle environment, yes, I would fully agree that chess rigs are the way to go. Um, they really are. They're fantastic. But uh, in terms of foot patrol and all that sort of stuff, I much would prefer going along the sides of uh, this kind of stuff that's behind me so that when I'm crawling uh, with this gear on, which I can do, I'll do a demonstration. Should I do a demonstration? Just for you guys, like a complete mong, I'll do a demonstration. Um, but it is, it's just more comfortable when you're doing foot patrolling. Um, 
and you know just crawling around and getting in firefights and section attacks and stuff I find it a lot more comfortable than having a big old chest rig on your front which is what the Canadian Army are rolling with right now which I'm really not looking forward to it's going to be interesting to see um, what's going to come of that how I'm going to feel with the whole chest rig thing and I have used chest rings before they were issued to us uh, for Afghanistan but we never really used them they just weren't they weren't really a thing that I was particularly keen on uh, okay so who wanted that demonstration someone wanted a demonstration so it goes on like this <sighs> getting too fat um, I also put a carabiner on here for anything that I need to hook on that's important it's also good if someone wanted to hook me up with a rope pull me out of a situation like that again this is all stuff that was just left on since I was in basic uh, my straps have all been horribly adjusted for someone who is not me so let's get that adjusted back down because this is horrible feeling right now uh, okay there we go a little lower um, yeah so again loose tassels keep on top of your admin so for crawling as you can see like right now um, for crawling it's fantastic notice how flat I can get to the floor all my gears open for some reason don't know why I didn't close that pouch see again easy access Goodness, I look like a complete mong right now and my pouch is all open and fucking blue stuff hanging out the back. There we go. See, notice how low I can get to the ground with this stuff? Okay, it was if I had a chest rig on, I'd be off the floor like this, okay, because all that gear would be underneath me and also extremely uncomfortable. Like, it just wouldn't be a good time. So having this stuff is great, and I know I've seen a lot of MTP guys um, have transferred from the kind of putting everything onto their chest rigs and their body armor plate plate carriers to the back to the old school PLC kind of loadouts because they just work better. Um, it's also great for if you need to roll. I mean, it, it's shaped in such a fashion around your body that you can actually roll quite easily on it. It's not a big deal. It's easy to roll around with, and it's comfortable. It just feels comfortable. Like it's, I know, I like it. And um, for crawling itself then, again, it's really easy to crawl with. It doesn't foul on anything and get caught on anything, rag, or lead, you know, twigs or sticks or rocks. And it just keeps you a low profile to the ground. And if you notice, you see straight away for camouflage, you see what I mean? So if you're having a combat jacket on right now, yeah, you'd be covered up. But if you didn't, okay, and you were just wearing, you know, a shorter t-shirt or a chest plate, this area for camouflage, you've just exposed. That's why I see your neck is extremely important, your forehead is extremely important, even with how hot it is today, it's 36 today, it's bloody hot. But like, the helmet thing, if you're in a firing position, okay, and your helmet's down, and you're resting, and the sight's up a little bit, it's gonna lift your helmet up, you're gonna expose all that white, so cam up your heads, guys. Um, here's one for you guys, Anola gay hand grenades, uh, smoke grenades, sorry, fantastic bits of kit. Um, people are probably looking out the windows at me like, he doing? Roll on your back so your neighbors can't see you. <laughs> You're among. It's hot. It's hot. I'm doing this for you guys. It's a hot day. Let's read some comments and get this stuff off first. And easy to get off to. Let's see. Oof, yeah, that was an oof moment. That was definitely an oof. Would I die for Canada? Hell yes. It's my new country. I'd die for both Canada and the UK. If I had to. Someone please Photoshop the Brazos logo. Uh, I don't play Rainbow Six Siege, no. Do you always wear armoured plates? Uh, depends on what you're doing. If you're doing armoured training, no. Sorry, if you're just doing training, normally not. Uh, but if you're going into a combat environment, yes, you'd have chest plate carriers. You're a great YouTuber. Keep it up. Thanks, Gaming Train Spotter. I appreciate it. What's your favorite rifle? HK416. Where in Canada are you? Alberta. I'm in Alberta right now. Rip. <laughs> are there anything? What? It's so weird. Is army gear clothes and uncomfortable for women? Uh, I don't think so. It's pretty much going to be the same. Will this be uploaded? Yes, you'll be able to watch it again in a later date. Alberta probably... Uh, John, you're weird. Stop. How do you make... Uh, I live in Alberta. Hello, murder my memory. Welcome. Welcome. 
Where in the UK are you from? Originally, I was from Wofford, England, and I moved up to Durham when I was a kid. Do a video on webbing camouflage. I could do that. Maybe that'll be my next vlog, but that means I have to go... No, I can't. Probably can't do that. Show your wife your face. Now, she's going to see it soon. She's probably going to freak. I've already told her to not come outside. She's like, I'm not coming outside. What's your view on the army not allowing autistic soldiers? I can't really comment on that, to be honest. Canadian James Bond right there. How's it going? <laughs> no James Bond. No, no, no. James Mong. James Mong. Does your wife like chipolade? Oh, God. We've got a hardcore troll here. I love it. Welcome, troll. Welcome. Do English like pissing on the Welsh? No, we just like having fun with the Welsh. In fact, uh, I have family there right now who uh, are visiting Wales from Canada and they're enjoying themselves there. Do a video on what you do if a gimpy cadet nicks your combi tool. Probably not going to do that. Did you... I'm not answering that. Do Canadians say A a lot? No. Hide in a tree. Do you like memes? Yes, I do like memes. Stop ignoring my post, you know it's true. What's true, Quinn? Tell me what's true. Do the Remy see much combat because I'm thinking of joining? Define combat. Okay, combat is very is very sparse. Okay? If you want to be running headfirst towards an enemy position with a hand grenade and a rifle in your hand, Remy is not the place to be. If you want to be in an environment where you're repairing a vehicle whilst under fire and potentially having to return fire at multiple insurgents, Remy can potentially be the place you want to be, but nor what always guaranteed. The great thing with Remy is you will get attached to every single regiment in the British Army, whether it be infantry, artillery, armoured corps, engineers, medical, they all have vehicles, they all have equipment that needs repairing, and you will be beside them or behind them to get it fixed. If you're beside them on the front line, then yes, you will potentially be put into dangerous environments. Those people who make fun of the Remy, I totally appreciate it, but they really don't really know in depth true, uh, I guess, technicalities of how Remy works. If infantry go out somewhere, Remy is normally always behind them, whether it be in a vehicle or repairing a weapon system. And we will be beside the people who need to use that equipment, which therefore means we are in the firefight in the environment with them. Many of me and my section, uh, and me, sorry, many of me and the people who were in my section whilst being in Afghanistan did have to go out on patrols, whether it be vehicle patrols or foot base patrols, with the infantry to support them because they need the support. If a vehicle goes down, you don't just leave it there, you have to pull it out in the environment it's been engaged from. So, you know, Remy isn't the place to be going into. If you want to be solely focused on a combat environment, no. But is it an environment that can subject you to it? Yes, for sure. What is the biggest explosion I've ever seen? Ooh, I've seen a couple of JDAMs come down before in Afghanistan. That was pretty damn big. I can't remember what pounders they were. I think they were maybe 500 pounders. Uh, do you think having two Queen Elizabeth carrots is overkill? Overkill? Are you kidding me? You're on the wrong channel here, buddy. Two's not enough. If it was up to me, we'd have ten of them. Does the army supply bulletproof... Afghanistan is a wait of time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you play Battlefield 4? No, um, but I do have it for the PS4, I just don't play the PS4. MTP or DPM? It's like the fifth time someone's asked me that. MTP, I like MTP even though I served with DPM. Tiger or Sherman? Mm, tiger. <laughs> just because it's, it's just a staple tank that just comes to my mind every time I think of World War II. Um, what else? L86 for support, L129 is a sharpshooter. That's very true. Is the SAE and the L85 the same gun? Yes. Best prank you've ever been victim of? Ooh, best prank I've ever been victim of. I'll get back to me. Uh, Quinn B, you see my post, you're just ignoring it. What, for the 1080, GTX 1080? You're not giving me a GTX 1080, so... Uh, I'm not telling you what cadet force I work for. Uh, what was your best part of the army? Um, friends. The friendship just epic. The people you meet uh, is just unreal. Do you have silly string in the military? No. Do you think the SA, or do, what do you think the SA is going to be replaced with? I'll do a video of that in the future, so stand by. Do a video on the jackal. I will be doing one in the video in the future. Do the army get to eat? Do you get to eat pot noodles in the army? Yes. Um, what's your favorite jet? F-22. Just done a video on it recently. And the F-16. They're very close tied. Uh, closest you've ever been to an explosion? Uh, well, four feet, because I've had things slam off the side of my vehicle before. Um, do you like the SE-80? I love the SE-80. Royal Marine Cadets. Yeah, cool.
cool, cool, cool. Lots of cadets here today, it seems. Have I ever been on a Royal Navy ship? Yes. I went on HMS Belfast. I guess it's not a serving HMS ship, but... Have you seen PMCs? Don't know what you mean by PMCs. Army cadets. Do you like Vietnamese noodle soup? Someone is telling me to check my Discord. I should check my Discord, because that is one of the people who is keeping an eye out on my Discord here, so I should probably check it. Something's going wrong. Have I ever been shot? Please don't ask people that question. It's not a good question to ask people and people don't like answering it. Uh, Reapers. Reapers, send me whatever you've sent me. It's not coming through, so send it again. Please. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you fucking... Reaper, I'm gonna kill you later. I'm gonna kill you. I will kill you. Put a freaking Brazzers logo on there. I'm not going to accept it, Quinn. No, you're not giving me a GTX 1080. It's like a fucking six, seven hundred dollar graphics card. And people are still asking about the killing questions. I'm just going to ignore you, so. Do EOD technicians have big balls? Mm-hmm. I would say so. Do, do, do. You just got brassed. <laughs> yes, I did. I apologize for the connection, too, guys. It's the, uh, my internet's just not, uh, it's not helping. Oof, OG Marky, I bet I hope I've killed you on the inside because you're killing me on every side with your oof videos. What branch of the army run bomb disposal? Uh, the EOD teams are run by the Royal Logistics Corps. Do, 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 do. Have I ever been to ATC Purbright? No, I have not been to ATC Purbright before, unfortunately. Thank God. I went to AFC Harrogate, which was a better basic training, personally, in my opinion. Did you ever work with CBRE teams? No, CBRN teams. No, it's not. I have not worked with them before. Oops. Yamoto or Bismarck? Uh, Yamoto. Because it's, uh, I think it went down in more of a blaze of glory. There's two birds, like, going nuts behind me right now. Can you see that? Look at them. Shut up. Come back next time when we'll have a coyote attacking my dog. Um, were you ever in the cadets? Yes, I was in the cadets many years ago. Durham Light Infantry. Fuse layers all the way. I actually worked with uh, two RRF in Poland. One of the worst training exercises I've ever been on, but uh, still a good bunch of guys. No, they know how to drink, I'll tell you that much. Do cadets ever swap? Oh my god. Ever commanded a Krav? Uh, I have not commanded a Krav before, no, but I have been inside as a third man and a driver of a Krav before. You have to be a recovering mechanic normally to command a Krav or a stripey slash staff sergeant. Should tank guns be rifled or smoothbore? In today's modern environment, they should be smoothbore because rifled is now subjective to reduced ammo uh, compatibility. So smoothbore. What rank did I get to? Corporal. Opinions on Medical Corps. Uh, huge respect for the Medical Corps. Uh, saved, obviously, members of my friends' lives and supported them uh, during my time in Afghanistan. And they are just fun people to be around. They kind of, when you're having a bad day uh, in the army there and you need to go to the medical center, they're friendly people that tend to be pretty happy, the nurses and docs and stuff. So, big respect for the Medical Corps. Do you like Donald Trump? I don't talk politics. Uh, check Discord again, it might be a disappointment I'm not checking Discord, you can go whatever you guys are doing in Discord, I don't even want to know have I seen a C-17? yes, I have you're going to be playing good with graphics soon, Quinn, I'm just going to throw like a brick at you across from the internet you're not sending me it biggest fuck up I've ever done on the radio ooh, good question there was one time when I was on the net one time and uh I can't remember what I was saying to someone. I was talking to another vehicle commander, and I said, uh, "What was it?" I said, "It was something extremely rude." And I was just, I was grumpy. I was having a bad day, and I was communicating with another vehicle how close they were to the vehicle in front, and potentially at night you can crash into another vehicle because they're so close following along. I said, "Slow down and back up. Make some distance, or you're going to crash into him." And I said it quite loud and abruptly and rude to one of my guys on the rest of the channel. And uh, the CO came over on the net and just lost his shit on me. So he was pretty upset. Do I like the Royal Irish? Of course I do. They were actually our um, QRF Quick Reaction Force in Afghanistan. They were the ones for the majority of the time 
that also did the overwatch for us between the wadis or the valleys uh, which we had to cross so yes, I have massive respect for them. What was the biggest vehicle you've ever worked on? I guess the AS90 and Challenger 2 are probably the biggest ones I've ever worked with. Uh, uh, worst vehicle, according to you. The worst vehicle in the British Army? Ooh. <laughs> 432. The old school 432, not the Bulldog. Working on the engines and transmissions and those things? Nightmare. Hello, Ant. Bye-bye, Ant. What is the most hated British Army regiment? There is no hated British Army regiment, so... Do you like the air fairies? Of course, whatever they are. I don't know what they are. Did you ever pee your pants? Yes, many times. Uh, yes, you have been noticed, Alex. Opinions on the York Regiment. I don't have opinions on specific regiments much if I haven't worked with them. Opinions of Royal Engineers. Good bunch of guys, but there is a Remy Engineer rivalry always. RMP equals most loved regiment. The RMP is not a regiment. There's some friendly rivalry. Yes, there is. Ant lives matter. <laughs> Wee, bye, Ant. Uh, what's the craziest thing you've ever seen? Uh, there's lots of crazy things I've seen. There's something, a lot of things that I'm not going to be telling on this chat. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Did you ever work with the Royal Anglican Regiment? No, but they were based across uh, in Fallon Bostel, I think, the opposite side of the road. But I left soon after once they got there. How many meters could you shoot with your L85? I, um, I was able to engage on a range once about 400 meters, not accurately though. I was never a very, very, very good shot. Um, but I have done pretty good up to four, 400 meters, I think. I think we're gonna get pretty close to finishing up the stream here, guys, because one, I'm cooking, and two, uh, we've been going already for 65 minutes, so. <laughs> Do you hate FNGs? No. Yes, it is good up to 600 meters. The questions this chick is asking is just ridiculous. Have you ever shot the number eight rifle? Yes. What's the most strangely normal thing you've seen on the battlefield? People laughing during a firefight, that's pretty strangely normal. That's quite funny. Uh, getting into a contact or an attack and everybody just starts bursting out laughing and having no idea why that's or telling jokes inside an environment like that is hilarious, but just, I don't know why, it just happens. What company was I in in, Red, in Harrogate? I was in Peninsula Company. No, that's Platoon. Peninsula Company, yeah. I was in Barbarossa Platoon. What do you think about the Indian Armed Forces? Haven't really seen much uh, involvement in them, to be honest. Do I think Theresa May is cute? No. I regularly use channel Chanel for my camo, nothing better than looking at it. Sorry, it disappeared. Have you ever met and handled autistic cadets? Um, I'd rather not comment on that. Have you gave a horrible, have you given a horrible beasting? I've never given horrible beastings before. No, I'm not that kind of person. I tend to just, I used to just speak to my guys and say, sort it out. I'm not that kind of guy. Are you going to show us how to take the camo off? I am. I'll be right back, because I need to get this stuff off. <sighs> okay, removal time. Here we go. So, baby wipes. With this, it's just go to town and get it off. And it's gonna be a nightmare. Let's have a read while we're talking. Instant tree action. Graphics inbound. You are not sending me a 1080, and if you do, I'm gonna be pissed. Don't forget to show your wife. No, no way. No, no, I'm not. She knows what it looks like, she's seen it before. Let me lick your face. No, I prefer not, thanks. Baby wipes are the best removing cam cream. They really are, but guess what? Baby wipes go on the principle of not really being used so much too much on skin because the stuff that it uses is not very nice. What's your favorite meme? Um, right now it's oof. The oof memes from, uh, from Roblox. <laughs> For some reason I'm obsessed with oof. Um, the battery's low again. Okay, give me a sec here, guys. I just want to check my batteries on. 
working. Oh, it's still charging. No, I don't play Roblox. I have no intention of playing Roblox. Oof, oof, oof. That's the noise this cam cream's making as it gets taken off my face. Just like hundreds of oofs. Oof, 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 oof. How thick was the glass in our vehicles? What glass? Like the periscope glass? Have you heard of the US moving towards establishing a space core? No, but that is pretty funny. Why the hell would we need a space core? Have you ever played Project Reality? Uh, yes, but it's not really something I like playing. I don't like it. I prefer to play Squad. Will this be safe so I can watch it later? Yes, you can, for sure. I am going to be uploading this as a full video later on. In case the enemy attacks from the front. Oh my god, that pesto looks so good. It's not pesto, you weirdo. Where in the part of the UK? I don't live in uh, the UK anymore. I live in Canada, but I was from Durham. Ugh. Ugh, this is gnarly stuff. I'm doing this for you guys, okay? I'm doing this for you. Are you going to play more Combat Mission Shock Force? Yes, I am, I promise. And I'm going to get round to the British side too. And um, just got to give me some time, okay, guys? I've got a very limited time in my days. I've got a full time job, a family, a lot of things going on, so you're just going to have to bear with me. Hello, System Philosophy. Oh, favorite tank? You know that, Chandra 2. If you follow my channel, you should know that. Have I ever caught anyone jacking off in the army? Why do you ask such weird, stupid questions? Will you say Lancaster? Lancaster. Have you ever thought about growing a beard so you actually look old enough to buy a beer at the pub? Well, you see, today's culture, everybody believes that you're supposed to have a beard to look cool and be old looking. Honestly, if you want to look older, jog on, because I don't want to look older and I'm perfectly capable of buying a beer, so I don't really have that problem. But if you want to go and join the fad of growing a beard all the time, be my guest, buddy. Do you get Tom Hawks? Thanks for the donation, Jack. I appreciate that, buddy. I really do. I don't look scary anymore. I always look scary. I'm an ugly mofo. Yeah. What's your opinion on the Chieftain engine? It's the worst engineering catastrophe the British Army has ever produced. Fact. Least favorite vehicle you served with? Mm, like I said, the 432. It is horrible to work on. Will you grow a mustache? No, I will not. I don't do facial hair, it's not me. I've never done it, I never intend to do it. I do like dank memes, I love dank memes. Why the Challenger 2? Because I'm British. Even though I'm not living in Canada, uh, Britain anymore, I'm still a patriot. No, I just like the tank. It's just something I've served with and worked along, alongside and fixed and repaired. So, of course, I'm going to like it. Pronounce lank, lankanek. You'd look tactical with a beard. No, I wouldn't. I just look like an idiot. Trying too hard, like the majority of people out there who have beards do nowadays, especially in Canada. I'm just going to grow a beard because everybody else is. Yeah, well, I'm not that kind of person, so I don't do the beard thing buy a Challenger for fun. If I had the money and the capability to buy one, I would. Canada does have a tank. It has the Leopard 2. Do I own guns? Yes, I do own guns and I'll be doing a range day in the future. So stay tuned for that. Automatic loader or manual? My opinion on that's changing quite a bit recently. Uh, I do like the automatic loader and I do like the manual loader. They both have their pros and cons. As of recently, I've been siding more towards uh, automatic loader, I'm not going to lie. Why do all French vehicles go faster in reverse? Good question. Keck, yes, lots of keck. Praise keck. All praise keck. Are you politically correct? Clearly, you haven't been on my channel very long to know that I'm not. But uh, I just have common sense. I don't voice my true opinions to the world because it's just not a place to do it. Do you pilot or drive a tank? Well, you can drive it. <sighs> well, I think we're getting pretty close to finishing up here, guys, because uh, it's hot and I'm tired. And uh, you guys are just uh, still firing out the questions, eh? Oof! 
Yeah, I think the stream's about to be oofed. Oof! If I had the noise soundboard to play the Roblox oof noise for this stream, I'd be playing it right now. My opinion on Brexit, I don't talk politics. Have you watched the Paintball Tank video by Lindbridge? Yes, and I love his YouTube channel, it's fantastic. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Thanks for your stream. Thanks, OG. Thanks, Birdmark. Appreciate it. Uh, I've got to finish. It's been a long day. It's hot. It's 36 degrees out right now. I am cooking. I've put cam cream on for you. I've put cam cream on for you guys. What more do you want from me? Was it hard to get Canadian citizenship? Yes, it was. He obviously thinks Brexit is good. He's a patriot. Uh, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Would you be willing to join the... I don't even know what that was. Do you like the goalkeeper of Phalanx CWS more? I haven't really looked into it. I want you to fix my Range Rover. I don't fix Range Rovers, I fix Land Rovers. Fuck Brexit. Oh, Quinn's not happy with the old Brexit. Dude, it's so hot. It is so hot. Biggest mong you've ever seen. I'm staring right at it. Uh, laser tag, good for military training. Yeah, we do do it. It's called uh, SAT training. Oh, sorry, CAT training. Combined arms training. I can't believe I'm still streaming. Should be done. This is going to finish off maybe a bit more of my neck because I know there's still going to be stuff there. Yeah. Let's see if we can get some more off of there. Our oh, Canadian snow Mexicans. <laughs> snow Mexicans? Who are you? Guys, I would really appreciate it if you did enjoy today's stream to uh, to like me on Facebook. Uh, leave me a like, leave me a comment. Uh, and if you do wish to support the channel, go check out my Patreon account. Obviously, we all know what's going on with YouTube right now and how much it's screwed over its content creators. Mine especially, being that it's a military-related channel, I get absolutely screwed in terms of uh, content that's not family-friendly and, you know, they can't show this. And I mean, there's been stuff that they're just outright saying is completely inappropriate, which is just complete garbage. It's just because it has a tank in it. Or I say one swear word. So I would really appreciate if you do wish to support me and my channel to go check out my Patreon. It really means a lot to me and all of those of you who have already given me uh, some support. I, I really, really can't thank you enough. See how red my face is getting from this stuff? Baby wipes are great to get it off, but it hurts. Like, it is hurting right now. Are you going to do a video on my backpack? Yes, in the future I'll do a video on my rucksack for sure. Do, 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 do. Thanks for the stream, your bae. <laughs> okay guys, well I'm going to head off now. Um, like I said, I really appreciate you stopping by today and watching. I hope you enjoyed my cam cream shenanigans. Uh, we will probably do another video in the future. Maybe I'll teach you guys how to cam up your webbing if you still have PLC webbing. Uh, thank you again all for joining in. Like I said, please go check out my Patreon. And if you don't want to use Patreon, you can always hit my PayPal uh, link that's in the description, which won't be in the description for this video, but it is in my other videos. Uh, like I said, the support is always most appreciated. And uh, just having you guys stop by and watch is, is a really, really good pep for my channel. Because right now I'm just having a really tough time with YouTube just screwing me. Um, so thank you so much. I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. I am going to enjoy the rest of this 36 degree weather with the family. And uh, apart from that, I hope you have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.